So today I want to have a very brief introduction to one of the uses of the Sumo JEdit ontology editor, um, which is the use in inference. So is, this editor is integrated with all the Sigma key system. Um, you can get all this uh, code on GitHub at the address that I have uh, loaded there above on the screen. And so let's just pick a very, very simple reasoning problem. So uh, if x is on the right of y, z is on the left of y, and x is on the right of z, uh, then, then x is on the right of z. So visually it looks like this, so z, y, and x. Um, and we'd like this to apply, obviously, to every possible situation. Uh, every possible configuration of three entities. So let's generalize this as the following rule. So here it is restated. The question marks denote variables. Uh, right is uh, a constant, an attribute in Sumo, denoting uh, that uh, one thing is on the right of the other, similarly for the left. Um, so this is the main operable axiom. Here are the, the two facts about the world. We've got these three entities, x, y, and z. Um, and then we're going to ask a query. And the nice thing about this editor is it allows you just to uh, highlight a query. So we're going to ask, you know, is uh, x on the right of z? Uh, and so we'll go up to select the Sumo JEdit plugin uh, that I've written for the JEdit editor. Uh, so query on the highlighted expression. And the system answers very quickly. Uh, right now I'm using the Vampire Theorem Prover, and it gives me the following proof. Uh, still a fairly short proof. Could be a little confusing uh, if you're new to some of this. Uh, I'd recommend watching my introductory video for some of the background. If, you have, if you're just coming across this video, you're kind of jumping in in the middle. Um, so I have an introductory uh, video uh, lecture on ontology and sumo and the language and the use of theorem proving. Um, but if you're already familiar with that, um, you can just go ahead and get started uh, installing this system and uh, using it right away. So just to go briefly over the proof, uh, it shows that we have here the two statements uh, that I'd highlighted a moment earlier, facts about the world, that x uh, is to the right of y and uh, z is to the left of y. So we ask uh, this query. Now note that this is refutation theorem proving or proof by contradiction. So what the system does automatically is to negate the thing that they are asking, and then it tries to find a contradiction that results from that. Um, so in the process of search, Vampire finds the relevant rule right away. Um, it does some various transformations to it, uh, CNF transformation. You, if you're not already familiar with that, you can read about it in my book. Um, but the, the uh, end result here is that it does in fact find a contradiction that's denoted by false, and it does so by looking at these uh, four statements, uh, one, two, three, and seven. So the transformed version uh, of the rule uh, stating the relationship between the, among these three entities, uh, as well as the two facts and the conjecture that we've posed. Um, so I hope this gives you a brief introduction to how you can get started uh, using the content in the ontology, using it in a way not to just do some very simple taxonomic reasoning, but to start doing some rule-based reasoning. Um, it's also not a production system. Uh, it's not just applying this rule in lexical order like a program or an if-then statement uh, in conventional programming. It's actually searching through all the things that it knows to be true. It's doing vampire, the vampire theorem prover is doing that dynamically to find the answer. Uh, and that's a very powerful approach. So uh, I encourage uh, if you have uh, any questions, uh, I'm eager to hear them. And you can reach me at the address above and encourage you to download the software and try it out. Uh, I'd like to hear what you think. Thank you.